Check out the First Man Men's Lifestyle Supplement by using the links below. Okay guys, welcome back to another video. I've had to switch it up quite a fair bit. As you guys said before, the, the outside looked amazing, right? I agree. But the light, the light coming in that way wasn't really benefiting myself and it wasn't really benefiting the video. So fuck it. This is what we've done for now. This actually probably looks worse than the garage. I don't know. At least you guys know what this place is. At least I've shown you enough. It's more about the information, isn't it, than the, uh, than the backdrop. But I think what I'm going to do is get more like that first man 1M King card. I think I'm going to get some like like a Tommy Shelby one quote on the wall or something like that. Just like come up with some really cool shit. Some like kind of memorabilia and just like hang it up on the wall in the same way and get some more of them made up. Because then at least the whole room kind of takes on that persona. Or maybe I get some like uh, some of those foam pads and I just slap them up on that wall with like double sided tape or something. Because what I don't want to do is slap like glue up there and just ruin the walls. I just don't want to do that. Because um, I pay for this place six months up front. I'm not planning to stay here long, long term. Like I maybe do a year, year and a half. But, you know, at the end of that period, I don't want to take everything off the wall and then go, I fucked your house up. Keep my deposit. Do you know what I mean? It just seems fucking silly. It might be worth it. It might be. I'll have to crunch the numbers and think about it. But, um, you know, so we're in this situation now and I'll probably have to wear the shades as well because otherwise I'm just going to be just, like squinting with all that light coming in on my face. So, it'd just be weird. But... The topic of this video is black pill, okay? And I'm sick to fucking death of black pill, guys. Honest to God. Every time I talk about it, I'm trying to help people. But all I get is just herds of fucking mutants just coming into the comments and just giving me shit. One after the other, one after the other. And it's just stupid comments. So I'm just fucking sick of it. So this is the last black pill video I'm ever going to make. And if you black pill guys can't figure out that I'm the only one actually trying to help you, then you deserve to be fucking a virgin for the rest of your life because I'm the only cunt out here actually giving you legit advice on how to improve. And all you're doing is just throwing it back in my face and just being like, you know, you just, you just can't be helped. You're like, yeah, but it's all right for you. You're six foot two, but it's all right. Go and watch my oldest videos, please. And then go and watch like my most recent videos. Look at the difference, right? That happens from hard work. And it's, it basically brings me to the topic of this video, which is like, I, I actually think black pill people are really clever. Because right, most clever people are overthinkers. That's why they've got social issues, because they think about shit too much. Like people who have got autism, they're smart as fuck. But they're terrible socially, because they're just petrified to talk to people. And it's the problem because they're just too smart. And I think a lot of black pill people have got the same problem. And in my opinion, they're overthinkers and I'm a doer. Okay, and this is what I want this topic of discussion to be about. While these black pill people are analyzing the data and going, yeah, but statistics say that a guy under six foot has a 50% less chance. Yeah, but Chris, what you don't understand is she's out of my league and looks wise, I'm, I'm like a two and she's like a seven. So it's just not going to work. And, you know, it's, I'm doomed from the start. And they use all these statistics and they come up with all the excuses in the world. <clears throat> and the thing is, while they're doing that, while they're, I shouldn't use the word doing because I'm going to revert back to that. While they're thinking, while they're overthinking and overanalyzing, what do they call it? Uh, paralysis by analysis or analysis paralysis. That's black pill summed up. Okay, sitting there and thinking about doing something. Sitting there and thinking about like why it won't work. Sitting there and coming up with every reason why you shouldn't go and approach that woman. Or why you shouldn't you know, go and start that business or something like that. And they're just sat there going, well, it's pointless anyway, because at the end of the day, like while you're doing all of your little thinking and you're overanalyzing and you're going, but Chris, what you don't understand, and this is what they say to me in the comments, is you don't have top 1% genetics. You're not a handsome guy. And they try and put me down left, right and center. And I'm like, what you little fucks don't understand though. And I mean that in the kindest way, because I'm trying to help. And this is how I was brought up by my dad's. Okay, just talk to people like shit and get through to them that way. It's just like a masculine version of being a nice guy. It's really very weird, but it works, okay? And I think a lot of the Blackpool guys aren't used to this, which is why they dislike me. 
because they just see this like big, tall, strong guy with the shaved heads and they're like, oh, fucking hell, it's everything I'm against. Um, but they just, but while they're like overthinking, while they're sat there overthinking, overcomplicating it and saying, oh, Chris, you're, you're not top 1% genetics. But if you did a face analysis, you would be, you'd be a four out of 10. It's like, do you know what guys, truth is, I don't give two fucks. And because I don't give two fucks, I've been approaching women since day one. And because I don't give two fucks, I was able to have a four year relationship, which I ended, okay, with an Indian Caribbean beauty who was probably easily an eight, nine out of 10, okay, when she was at her best. I was a spud face when I was with her. I looked terrible, I was skinny. Like two years ago today is when I basically, like I was making videos two years ago today, okay. And we broke up about three months later than this day. It was like August, start of August, around about that time. So it's basically like two years ago today, right, ever that we were together. If you go back and look at the videos from two years ago, you'll see I was a spud face, okay? You'll see I was ugly as fuck. I was kind of in shape, out of shape. I was just like skinny fat, maybe a little bit of muscle behind the scenes. Somebody said earlier, today you look like a younger, better looking version of your old, of like your younger self, which is weird. They're like, they're so weird that you can like look younger and better than your younger self. Like, it's really weird, right? And that all came from hard work. I mean, orthotropics, submental exercises, getting down to a low body fat percentage, taking the natural diuretics, going to the gym religiously, not drinking alcohol, lowering my salt, my carb intake, whatever, tracking my calories and macros, getting a good night's sleep, chewing that mastic gum buying some nice clothes, working hard on my business relentlessly to the point where I just fucked myself physically and mentally so that I could put myself in a position today where I can have all the nice things that I've got, okay? And I can be the man that I currently am. And that's the thing, while all these black pill guys are sat there thinking, overanalyzing, going, well, there's no point because I've got, lo I'm doing, I'm out there doing, I'm out there working, I'm out there making things happen. And you can use a million excuses. You can label me with as much shit as you want. You can be like, you're a big-eared, bold guy, okay? And I'm fucking not bold. I'm just tall, and I lean back. That's why I'm getting the SMP brought forward a little bit to like there, so that, because like I said, I'm tall. It makes me look bold to anybody under like five foot nine, whatever, which is most women, which is annoying. Um... But yeah, you could say whatever you want. You could be like, you're not top 1% genetic. But guys, that's the thing. The difference with me is I do not care. I could be the fattest, ugliest guy in the world. I'm still like, I like that woman. I'm going to go and approach her. But she'll reject you. But she's going to say no. Maybe, yeah. There's a very high chance she will. But it's not going to stop me going over, is it, guys? And that's what I don't understand. And it's not going to stop me improving and trying to get better. It's not going to stop me like... Oh, I started at a four. There's no point trying to get to an eight. Because that's the thing. These guys are like, unless you're top 1% genetics, you can be like a seven out of 10 as a man. Like my straight seven system. Okay, I told you guys before. You can be like a seven out of 10, as in like seven in look, seven in body, seven with money, seven with confidence, seven with like your dress sense. If you're a collective seven across the board, you've got a fucking amazing life. Because most men are sloppy and they won't even be a three on the scale collectively. Okay, they're so low down. That's how I came to that conclusion that the average guy is a three out of 10. Because when you think about it, the average is five out of 10 on a singular scale. But once you throw in like 10, 15, 20, 30 pieces of criteria and you add them all up collectively and then you find the average of that total score, that's why I think the average man is a three out of 10 because collectively across the board, they're a bum. People haven't got that kind of like widespread skill set or that widespread desire to be great in multiple areas or just well above average in multiple areas okay and it goes against common knowledge too like I, I this is the one thing that i find weirdest of all is like you can walk around the street and you can see guys who aren't david gandhi you can see guys who don't look like fucking david beckham and they've got beautiful women on their arm they're wearing a nice suit they've got a nice car they've got a great life and you're like we never held them back you know they're kind of kind of in shape kind of out of shape not that bad. And they've got like a smoking hot eight on their arm. And the guy is like 42 years old. It's like, so what were you saying? What were you saying? And I think the problem is with a lot of these black pill guys, and remember throughout this video, please don't come and mutant my comments. I'm the cunt who's actually trying to help you. Because the black pill people who are like, you're doomed, you're never gonna, that's not your friend. I'm sorry, that's not your friend. That's not somebody who's trying to help you get better. I'm trying to help you get better. I'm trying to show you the actual path. Like. 
if you think your life's fucked and you're a two and whatever, why not just become a five? Why not just become a six? Like, your life's going to get better by improving, okay? So I just find that nuts. But it's, uh, it just confuses me. And the one thing, it, like, most of all, I do this job because I love men improving. I love seeing guys get in the gym and do a body transformation. Now they've got their dream woman and they've got their dream life and they're just feeling better about themselves and their confidence goes up because they're proud of who they are. But when I see the black pill guys sat there going, there's no point even trying because I'm already so low down. This, it's like, fuck, all that wasted potential. You know, oh, but I had no potential anyway. God, God was against me. I was only going to be a six, but a six out of 10 in what? Looks? Fuck it. It is what it is. Any guy can get to like at least a seven in body. Any guy can get to at least like a seven in wealth. Any guy can get to at least a seven in assets. Any guy can get to a 10 in life in uh, life setup and framing because no fucker knows how to do it except like me, Dan Bilzerian and a few others. So because nobody's doing it properly, as long as you watch a couple of my videos, you're going to be so far ahead of everybody else. You're going to have to be like a nine or a 10 in life setup and framing. Okay. Dress sense. Any guy can be a 10. As long as you've got a decent frame, any guy can be a 10. It's very, very easy to do, okay? So it's just like, there's so many areas where genetics don't matter. There's so many areas that you can improve that just mean nothing. And then on the street, you've got so many guys who are proving the black pill community completely wrong, okay? Left, right, and center every single day. Guys who aren't fucking chads, who are getting women, who have got great lives, who have set themselves up very, very well. And yet, you know, and it, like I, I come on screen and I look the way I do now compared to how I looked two years ago. And they'll be like, it's just lighting. It's, it's like, guys, just you can't be in denial to that extent. It's not healthy for you. I don't give a fuck. I know I look all right. Do you know what I mean? I go on the street. I feel good. I look good. I get attention from women. It's like, I feel fucking fantastic. People give me compliments on my body. My, oh, you got great arms, mate. Do you know what I mean? What's your arm routine? Oh, my life's fucking great. I don't need to sit there and be like, no, I need to convince you. You're never going to put me down. Do you know what I mean? So I don't give a fuck. So it's only hurting yourself. You're only poisoning yourself by sitting there and being like, he's gone and done everything that we said he couldn't do. And now we're just going to deny it and be like, yeah, but he, like the, the one that me and Hams always laugh at is when people are like, yeah, but they always had good genetics. Like, well, oh, hang on a minute. You used to call Hamza, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but you used to call him a curry cell. Okay. And you used to call me a bold cell. And you used to say we're both coping. But now suddenly we were always chads and we had great genetics. Well, it was got to be one or, the, one or the other guys. We either improved massively or we were always chads from the start. Like, which one is it? Pick one. But it's just funny how it's differed over the, like, the last two years. Oh, we're just going to change it now. We're going to change it to fit our narrative so that we've got a new excuse. That's how it feels to me. And like I said, while all these black pill guys, and remember, once again, because I can't be bothered to do the, com the comment thing, I'm trying to help you. I'm the only cunt out here actually trying to save you, okay? Everybody else calls you weird incels, whatever. I'm the only fucker out here actually trying to do something for you. But this is the last time I'm going to do it because I'm sick to death of it. And I'm fed up with trying. But while you're out here overanalyzing and saying, but Chris, you can't do it. Like the Will Smith quote, he who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. His he who says he can, sometimes among delusion... You know, when I'm like, I could go from a one to a 10 and guys are like, oh, you're fucking deluded. You're, you're a crazy guy. Maybe I am. But because I said I could, I've made massive strides to get in towards that. And it's improved my life massively. My life is better today than when I was like 21 years old and had depression and felt like shit. Okay. So I don't see the point there. I really don't see the point. So if you're sat there and you're overanalyzing and you're thinking about like, oh, yeah, but she's going to reject me. Yeah, but I won't be able to do that because I'm not intelligent enough. But I, and then there's another guy in the world just going, fuck it, I'll give it a go. You know, like they always say, 90% of success is showing up. That's success with women. That's success with, you know, getting the job. That's success with starting a business and becoming successful. That's success with having a great body. And this is what... Sorry, with the shades on, it looked like I was going to piss down with rain. I just took the covers off my sofas. So, I hope not. My, my falcon blew off the side as well and nearly broke his beak. It's not a real one. Um, but I need to get like a chain so I can like chain it to the top of there. It scares all the pigeons away. It keeps my patio from all getting all shitty. It's lovely. Um, but yeah, while these guys are like overanalyzing, there's another guy out there that's going, fuck it, I'll give it a go. 90% of success is showing up. Oh, there's a woman over there. She's beautiful. I'll approach her. Oh, you're going to get rejected, bro. 
You know, like Wheat Waffles did an analysis on your face. And I'm not mocking Wheat Waffles. I actually quite like the guy. I do. I actually invited him on my podcast to come on in person. I just, I don't know if he will because he doesn't do face reveals. But um, I, I, I just think the guy's got a lot, of, a lot of potential. I think if I, you know, can have a chat with the guy, I think, you know, it's his choice at the end of the day. But I think he's got a lot of potential. I, I, I quite like the guy's viewpoints. I think he's all right. So... But he might do like a face analysis and it's like, oh, bro, but he said your face analysis is only like a 3.4 out of 10. Well, you know, that says that you're definitely not going to get that woman. She's going to reject you because she's easily a nine. It's like, yeah, but what you see on the surface isn't always what happens, guys. Isn't always the case, okay? I've seen some ugly motherfuckers sleep with some beautiful women. Like ugly motherfuckers who have got no right to put their penis inside that beautiful little angel. But they have. They've done it. And it just, it just comes from like every other guy, analysis paralysis, sat there and went, she's too beautiful. She's out of my league. I won't approach her. Okay. And this cocky, ugly motherfucker just went, what have I got to lose? I already know I'm ugly. I've been told by every girl I've ever met, rejection's my fucking middle name. I'll, I'll give it a go. I'm no stranger to rejection. He rolled over and she went, hmm, you're really funny. You're the only guy who's approached me for the last three months. I'm going to give you a chance. I like you. And then guys are going, what? He's punching, he's punching. <clears throat> Sorry guys, that COVID's still there. He's punching, he's punching. She's way out of his league. What's she doing with him, bro? And it's like, how can you complain? Because he was the only fucker that actually went over and did something about it. So you can't sit there now and be like, what's she doing with him? Because you didn't even fucking try. Okay, you're, you're drawing a conclusion without evidence of results. You know, but yeah, look, let's be honest, you probably do have evidence of results. The average guy, when you're young, you, you can get rejected a lot. And that's what I think a lot of these black pill guys are, just young. They, I, re, I would say 99% of them are under 25. And they're stuck in high school. They're stuck in high school. They don't understand, like, in real life, uh, you know, oh yeah, but Chris, you kind of look bold. You've got a shaved head. I don't think you're a top 1% genetic guy. Girls love guys like me once you get past, like, 25 years old. Okay, like, I'm 29 years old. Do you think... Like, girls are looking for that. They're looking for dad version two, the big, strong, muscular replacement with the money. Do you know what I mean? He's got shaved head, strong jawline. Like, I'm, that's what they're looking for. Can he break my back? Yeah, he's got real strong glutes. His back is massive. I guarantee you could just hammer me through that bed. They're thinking about shit like that. They're thinking about shit like that. They're not thinking about, like, oh, he's got really nice hair. You know, oh, look at the highlights in his hair. It looks a lot like Justin Bieber or Jack Grealish. They don't give a fuck after a certain age. But for some reason, that's where this black pill mindset is. He's stuck in high school. And you, you guys would really help yourself because it's my last video I'm ever going to make for you guys. So fuck you after this. But if you had that mentality of, okay, I'm an adult now. I'm not in high school. The criteria is different. A lot of shit changes. This guy, Chris, let's not be in denial here, has massively changed how much better he looks. Like, put the success aside and the body and all the other stuff, his face looks better. He just, he just simply looks better than he did two years ago. So 29-year-old Chris looks better than 27-year-old Chris. Okay? I might have even been 26 because of my birthday coming. I'm not sure. Either way, fuck it. You cannot deny that. You cannot deny that, like, Michael B. Jordan has not got, has not better at 34 than he was at, like, 27. Okay, which goes against all the black pill logic. So I just find it mental that you guys are like shutting things down before actually testing them, before trying. Oh, she'll reject me. Oh, Chris, you're not top 1% genetic, so she, you, there's no chance. Like, you're living in a fantasy land. Well, guess what? This fantasy land is fucking amazing. I love it. Okay, because in this fantasy land, I can do whatever the fuck I want. And I stroll up to the most beautiful woman that I've seen and I just go, hey... I think you're beautiful. I want to get your number. You know, I'm taking you out next week. Yeah, sure. And you go, huh, yeah, that's true. Nobody's actually come up to you, have they? Everyone's fucking petrified. They're all doing that analysis paralysis shit. So I think to myself, hey, I've got the secret here. I'm the only cunt that's actually bothered. And because I'm so cocky, arrogant, whatever you want to call me, I just go up with all the confidence and I just say whatever the fuck I want to say. And because I'm relaxed about it, and I feel as though I'm the prize, not her, because of how valuable, how valuable I am collectively. And because I'm 29 as well, guys, I know that that beautiful 22-year-old won't look like that in seven years' time. Because all the girls my age don't look the way they used to. There's one or two that still look decent. The rest, you know, they're kind of past it. Don't look as good as they used to. So I know that it's temporary. So in my opinion, I'm the prize. Okay, temporarily, she's hot. 
beyond that, it's not going to matter, okay? So by having that level of like knowledge and confidence and experience, that's why I look at the black pill and I just shake my head because I think you guys are fucking your own life up. You only get one life. You only get one life and you're not willing to improve. Well, like some of you are improving. Like I know Wheat Waffles talks about going to the gym and whatever, which is why, you know, I actually think he's, he's more red pill than black pill, but that's just my opinion. I just think you're, you're just handcuffing yourself before you've even tried. It's just, I just find that weird. I just find that really, really weird, okay? Like, like I said, this is what the whole point of the video is. I don't want to like revert back to what I was saying in the other video because I don't want to repeat myself. But the purpose of this video is while you're thinking about it, I'm doing it. And I, I just promise you guys, like while you're sat at home leaving a comment on my YouTube channel, Chris, you're not top 1% genetics. You don't look as good as you think you do, Buster. You're too... Why well, am I out on the street getting results? I'm in the gym getting results. You know, I'm burying somebody's ass cheeks on that bed while you're sat at home going, oh yeah, this guy's not top 1% genetics. It's like, well, I'm living life. I'm getting results. I'm enjoying myself. And yet, look, I agree with you. That's the thing. I'm not sat here saying, I am top 1% genetics. Don't say that about me. I look like David Gandhi. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying, yeah, truth be told, not the best looking guy in the world. I've made the best of myself. I've improved myself massively, but it's enough. I'm not a fucking doll. I'm not a showpiece. I'm not a dog at Crufts. Do you know what I mean? I'm a man at the end of the day. Shaved head, muscles, nice clothes, money, nice car, whatever. That's all you fucking need, really. It's all you fucking need. Just a little bit of confidence, high testosterone, good deadlift and a good squat. You know, like it's fucking easy. It's fucking easy in that sense. But to sit there in denial from the outset, where do you think that's going to lead? It's going to lead with you sitting there thinking about it and me going out there doing it. And you're going to be in, and then what happens is what's happening right now. I get results and you guys sit there in denial. Oh no, this Chris, like you're all in your little bitchy forums. No, this guy, just grow the fuck up. Grow a pair of bollocks. Look at the truth. Look at the results. And realize these black pill teachers of yours that you think are your friends that sit at home shitting themselves, that are just big, fat, ugly virgins masturbating every night, they're not helping you. They're not, they're not your friends. They're not helping you. It might feel nice to have a little comfort thing. And then this big alpha male comes on camera and says to you, buck your fucking ideas up, take some self, uh, self-accountability, do something with your life. The reason you're not getting women, the reason your life's not going well is because of you. And it was the same with me and I went and improved. And you don't like it. You don't like it because you've never had that big, strong father figure in your life saying to you, buck your fucking ideas up. You're the problem. You know, if you want anything in this world, go and work for it. And that's the truth about Black Pill. They don't like the work ethic. Just a bunch of lazy motherfuckers. And this is the last video I'm ever going to make for you lot. But look at my journey. And I'm only like 5% on this journey. Okay, when I start doing the streaming platform and fashion and whatever, and I'm absolutely crushing it in those areas, and I've made like 10, 15, 20 million in a year for myself, never mind the first man business, and I'm dating fucking supermodels, and I'm driving around in my brand new Lamborghini, McLaren, whatever, and I'm flying to different destinations around the world. But did I always have that? Was that luck? Was it, is that just genetics? Yeah, but Chris, your nice shoulders have earned you 20 million that year. Like, shut the fuck up, please. It just gets on my nerves. And Black Pill guys, it's the last time you'll ever hear from me, okay? It's the last video I'm ever gonna make. I tried to help incels before, I've tried to help the black pill community. I'm sick of it because you guys just throw it back in my face. I'm the only cunt out here actually trying to help you lot. So, you know, rather than poison myself, my life's fucking amazing. If you want to follow me, you want to do the shit that I do, then go ahead. Do you know what I mean? I don't mean like follow the channel. I mean, just follow me in what I do. I never ask anybody to follow the channel. But if you want to like follow my kind of journey and my kind of like, I would say like teachings makes me sound like a cunt, doesn't it? Like I'm thinking I'm Jesus Christ or some shit. But if you want to do that, I promise you it's a much better fucking life than sitting there with this high school mentality and being like, but Chad gets all the girls. I promise you at 29 years old, I munch Chad for breakfast. It's just a little pawn on the chessboard. It's a piece of piss. Okay. So grow the fuck up, get out of high school, take some self accountability. It's the last time you'll ever fucking hear from me. Enjoy yourselves, Black Pill guys. Check out the First Man Men's Lifestyle Supplement by using the links below.